well, uh, the Lord has spoken with me, beloved people. Uh, about three hours ago, the Lord put me on a bicycle that was moving too fast, almost like more than a vehicle, like an aircraft. And I was riding that bicycle. He did not know any hill or any slope. And I was going all the way up the slope, as, up the hill as well, sloping down very fast. And everywhere I was announcing, repent, repent, turn away from sin, repent, turn away from sin, turn away from deception, reject lies, reject the gospel of prosperity that has lied to this world, reject falsehood, reject the false apostles, reject the false prophets, repent, return to holiness, receive Jesus. And I was going through communities and nations in a very high speed on a road. And as I was going, then you see the road ahead of me clearing and, and, and announcing that people should repent and prepare the way and reject the false prophets, reject the false apostles, reject the gospel of prosperity, reject deception, reject lies, reject immorality, reject sexual sin, reject abortion, reject the love of money in the church that has become a monument that has blocked the love for Christ. You, you so much going all over until I reached even the Islamic schools, and they were all coming, everybody, every across all the communities and all the nations I was passing through, everybody was nodding and they were saying, yes, it is true, it is true, we agree, we accept. Everybody was accepting the message, including Islamic communities, that I can see the school, they are dressed, you know, they are the Islamic schools, also Islamic communities, they said, yes, it is true. We want to repent and receive Jesus. It was such an awesome thing across the earth. And I reached the ends of the earth. And when I reached the end of the earth, then I came back the same way and took a left turn and went all the way now again towards the ends of the earth on the same trail. Repent. Reject sin. Reject wickedness. Reject evil. Receive Christ Jesus. Reject homosexuality. Reject false prophets. Reject the false people preaching in the church, the false evangelists. Turn away from abortion. Turn away from immorality. Turn away from sexual lust. Turn away from deception. Receive Christ. Go back to holiness. The gospel of the cross. The gospel of the blood. The gospel of the cross and the blood. And I went all the way again up to the end of the earth. And then I woke up. Then I was sweating and I was very tired. Then I realized that the Lord has actually spoken to the nations of the earth. And I know many, many nations are currently tuned in right now. Many, many hundreds of cities are tuned in now. But that is essentially what the Lord has just said. That conversation I've just uh, relayed to you right now, that is exactly what the Lord is saying now to the nations, to all the nations of the earth. The Lord is asking for repentance and the turning away from sin and that everybody received Christ. But every nation, every community, every city I reached, everybody came out and they agreed. They said, yes, it is true. We need to reject the false apostles and prophets. We need to reject the false gospel of immorality, the false gospel of prosperity. We need to reject sin. We need to reject people are coming out. Even the Muslims came out of the other religions. Meaning the Lord is giving a chance to every single person he created on the earth. No matter the religion you worshipped before, but now you can repent and receive Jesus and enter heaven. And that can only mean that the Lord is longing that all people, even those that were other religions, be given a chance now to repent, receive Christ Jesus, and enter heaven. Nobody ever wants to go to hell. Tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. So these are the conversations of this our beloved people. And you can see that the Lord is announcing repentance and is asking the nations to repent and all people now to receive Jesus and be holy and be righteous. It does not matter what you worshipped before. But now the window, the door is open here for all people to receive Christ Jesus, to be holy, to worship the Lord Jesus and worship Jehovah and enter eternity in heaven, not in hell, not go to hell, but enter heaven. You see, he's laying out the stairs of heaven, the glorious stairs of eternity, to all the nations right now, giving each person an equal opportunity to enter heaven. I have seen the Messiah coming, beloved people. The Lord has posted me on the eastern wall, and I'm looking at the eastern horizon, 
I'm looking at particularly the eastern horizon, and I've seen movement there. I've seen movement. I've seen the stairs have been lowered. So let you prepare, beloved people. The King of Glory is coming for the church. The Messiah is coming. Thank you to Dashalom.